Anytime you're going to be working on a valve or other piece of equipment on a well site, we highly recommend that you use the practice double block and bleed. In this video, we'll show you how. Double block and bleed is the practice of shutting in a section of pipe on both sides of the valve when you are performing maintenance or repair. This is a product training demo unit and has many different controllers on it, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to assume that we're performing maintenance on this one inch high pressure control valve. Here's how to double block and bleed. Close the isolation ball valves on both the upstream and downstream sides of the valve you're working on. Then you'll need to bleed any pressure that remains on the upstream and downstream sides of that valve. If a needle valve is installed on your control valve, you can use it to evacuate the pressure. Make sure the tubing is pointing down and place a bucket beneath the tubing to catch any fluids that may come out. In this example, our valve doesn't have a spot in the body to use a needle valve, so we'll be using method number two. If the piping has ball valves between the isolation ball valves and the control valve you are working on, you can use them to relieve the remaining pressure. Follow the same process as with the needle valves. Make sure the tubing is pointing down and place a bucket beneath the tubing to catch any liquids that come out. If there is no means of relieving the pressure between your two blocks, you need to expand where your blocks are to encompass a relief point. We are demonstrating with a control valve, but this principle would be the same for any other pressurized equipment you are repairing or replacing. Once double block and bleed is complete, if pressure is continuing to escape, this means that pressure is being introduced between your two blocks. It must be found and addressed prior to repairing the valve. When repairing a high pressure control valve, there is potential for there to still be pressure inside the valve body. When you start unthreading the stuffing box, there is a weep hole drilled in the valve body that allows pressure to escape before the stuffing box is unthreaded completely. If you encounter this scenario, allow pressure to escape completely from the valve before continuing to unthread and proceeding with your repair. If pressure continues to vent from the weep hole uninterrupted after approximately five seconds, there is likely pressure being introduced between your two blocks. It must be found and addressed. The primary areas to check for this source of pressure are the seals on your isolation ball valves, the seals on your check valves, or damaged seats in other control valves. This practice of double block and bleed reduces the risks of harm to people and the environment, which is why many oil and gas companies have adopted it as mandatory when working on pressurized equipment. For more hands-on tips for your oil and gas operation, check out kimray.com training.